From half bat, half man things, to weird and scary swamp things, here are 12 mysterious monsters from the US. Number 12, the Flathead Lake Monster. The story of a strange beast in the waters of Montana's Flathead Lake may have originated with certain indigenous tribes of the US and Canada, but sightings of it have been recorded since 1889. A steamboat captain, along with 100 passengers, claimed to see a whale-like object in the waters. When it was shot at, the animal dived for safety and wasn't seen again. Nicknamed Flessy after the Loch Ness Monster, this creature has been sighted on a regular basis in contemporary times. There were more than a dozen reports in 1993 alone. It's usually described as an eel-like beast with brown to black skin, dark eyes, and measuring up to 40 feet long or 12 meters. Number 11, the Beeman Monster. We found a few different descriptions of this creature. It's named after the town of Beeman, Missouri, and stories of it date back to generations within the region. While some accounts describe it as a coyote or wolf-like creature, the majority of witnesses say it resembles more of a primate hybrid that fits into the legend of its origin. When a circus train derailed in 1904, several animals escaped the crash. All of them were recovered except for a 12-foot tall gorilla. Many locals think the Beeman monster is the offspring of this ape. Hunting parties were formed to track down the beast, but many came up empty. Scattered evidence of the cryptid's existence include large footprints that indicate a great stride and livestock was mysteriously mauled. We couldn't find any recent sightings reported for this one. Have you ever seen it? Number 10, Ludwig the Bloodsucker. This one might fall into the category of urban legend, but it still qualifies as a mysterious monster. In this case, it's a humanoid with vampire-like qualities. Stories of Ludwig date back to the late 19th century, and he's often described as a cross between a leprechaun and a bloodsucker. He was short and stout-bodied, with a huge head covered in bristly black hair. Actually, Ludwig was said to be pretty hairy overall, with dense tufts protruding from his ears and nose. According to legend, he inhabited New York City's Bowery District. He would wait for drunkards to stumble into the alleys so he could drain their blood for its alcohol content. Stories of Ludwig are still told today, so be careful about stumbling in alleys. Number 9. Mossman This cryptid has been reported in and around Florida since 1978. Eyewitnesses described it as a bipedal humanoid creature that's covered in foliage or green moss. Cryptobotanists think that it may have grown moss in order to better camouflage itself to capture prey. That would be prudent, given that this beast is said to stand over 7 feet tall and weigh more than 400 pounds. The closest encounter was documented in 1980 when a couple was strolling through Red Reef Park in Boca Raton, Florida. When they stumbled upon some foliage, they came across this shrouded creature staring at them with shining amber eyes. The couple ran off, but by the time park officials returned to investigate, the creature was gone. Some sources indicate the Moss Man's origins can be traced to a Native American curse that was levied against the Spanish conquistadors in the 1500s. The Moss Man was formed to drive out the conquistadors and avenge a princess that they had kidnapped. Some of us thought that this beast resembled a Swamp Thing. Others reminded them of the Moss Man character from He-Man. What do you think? Number 8. The White Death This one is also known as the Alaskan Tiger and is said to inhabit swampy areas near the town of Paxton, Alaska. According to legend, this is a savage feline that some witnesses claim resembles a saber-toothed tiger. Others draw a link to a Siberian tiger. After killing a human, it's said that a stripe will develop on the animal's back. Number 7. The Snollygaster in the 1700s, German immigrants in Frederick County, Maryland claimed to have encountered a bizarre beast that was half bird, half reptile, and had a metallic beak with razor sharp teeth. In addition, it had octopus-like tentacles that it used to capture people and fly off with them. It's said that seven-pointed stars could keep the Snollygaster at bay, and those symbols can be seen painted on local barns. In 1909, newspapers reported many accounts of residents encountering the beast. At one point in time, the Smithsonian Institution even offered a reward for its hide. Did you know that President Theodore Roosevelt even considered hunting the beast himself? The Snallygaster seems to be part of a matched pair with the beast coming up. Number 6. The Dueyo Batman has the Joker, the Avengers have Thanos, and Snallygaster has Dueyo. According to legend, the two creatures are mortal enemies. The Dueyo has been described as a hairy creature that appears to be half man and half wolf. Sightings have mostly been reported in West Middleton, Maryland. Thanks to its physiology, it's often regarded as a werewolf. Stories of it and the Snallygaster having vicious battles dating back to hundreds of years ago, but no one seems to know what caused the differences. In the 1960s, local newspapers carried stories of citizens that encountered the beast. Around that time, an actual license to hunt the Dueyo was issued. After a period where no sightings of the monster were received, it was assumed the Dueyo had moved on to another region. Have you ever seen it? Number 5. The Alta Mahaha this creature is also known as Alti and is said to be a type of aquatic monster that inhabits small streams and abandoned rice fields in southern Georgia. 
It's been the subject of legend since before British colonization, when it was supposedly discovered by the local Otama Native American people. The cryptid is said to have a bony ridge on the top of its body, reminiscent of a sturgeon. It has a snout of a crocodile, and swims with its front flippers, not unlike a dolphin, but also has no rear limbs. While its coloring is said to be gray, some reports claim it to be a green with a whitish yellow underbelly. The conflicting reports have led some cryptozoologists to theorize the critter can self-camouflage. In 2018, some decomposing remains were found washed ashore on a beach in Georgia's Wolf Island Wildlife Refuge. It was initially thought to be the remnants of the Alta Mahaha, but was later disproved. Number 4. The Honey Island Swamp Monster Here is another cryptid in the mold of the Swamp Thing. It's been reported in and around Louisiana's Honey Island Swamp since the 1960s. It's said to be covered in thick matted hair along with swampy reeds and vines. Standing nearly 8 feet tall and weighing more than 500 pounds, the creature has yellowish reptilian eyes and is said to emit a foul stench. It's been long blamed for the disappearance of children and for the deaths of local livestock. There are a lot of unusual theories about this critter, some of which involve it being a type of hybrid of an alligator and an ape. Other sources claim it's a hybrid beast, a plant and animal. According to witnesses, tracks found in the swamp indicate the monster had webbed feet and three toes. That's led some experts to conjecture that the beast had evolved and adapted to a swamp-like environment. Did you know that due to its hairy appearance, this swamp thing is often called the Louisiana Wookiee? Number 3. The Wendigo this creature is described as a cannibal monster or evil spirit native to the northern forests of the Atlantic coast from the U.S. into Canada. It appears in the mythology of the native Algonquin people and is typically associated with cold winter weather. It's said the Wendigo can appear as a monster with human characteristics, or it can be a spirit that possesses a human and turns them into monsters. It's described as a gaunt, ashy gray creature that can stand more than 14 feet tall. Imagine a giant living skeleton that gives off a foul sting of decay. Most accounts agree the beast has glowing eyes, a long tongue, and fearsome yellow fangs. Some specimens have huge horns or antlers. According to legend, Wendigos were formerly human, but when human resorts to cannibalism, they transform into a Wendigo. Some cryptozoologists have theorized that stories of Wendigo may have been inspired by sightings of Bigfoot. In 1903, Van Meter, a small town in Iowa, was terrorized by a huge bat-like creature that flew at incredible speeds and dive-bombed the citizens. Witnesses described it as a monster that was half-human, with a horned head and the large leathery wings of a bat. As it swooped over the town, the beast emitted a blinding light from its head and released an overwhelming stench. It flew across the building tops for several nights, and even though townspeople fired their guns at it, the creature shrugged off the bullets. At one point in time, they followed the creature into an abandoned coal mine where the smaller version of the monster appeared. Both abominations flew off in a blinding flash of light but returned to the coal mine the next morning. Even though men from the town were waiting there with loaded weapons, the creatures made a strange shriek and ascended into the mine shaft. That was the last time the beasts were ever seen. To this day, there is still no explanation for what the bizarre visitors may have been. What do you think? And before we get to our number one, we'd like to hear from you guys. Do you think that any of these could have been possibly aliens? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, the Slide Rock Bottler. This bizarre beast is said to live in the mountains of Colorado at slopes exceeding a 45 degree angle. Witnesses have described it as having an enormous noggin, tiny eyes, and an ample mouth. Its dolphin-like tail has grapple hooks which anchor the beast onto mountain ridges. It stays positioned there, motionless, for days on end, watching the gulch below as it waits for humans or other prey to appear. When it spots a suitable victim, the creature loosens itself and barrels down the mountain like a toboggan. As it accelerates, the animal smashes through trees and anything else that gets in its way. By some accounts, entire parties of tourists have been swallowed up in a single go. Once the prey is taken, the slide rock boulder's velocity carries it up the nearest slope, where it stays anchored until the next victim appears. 